What's going on, Ecamp family? This is your boy, Jay Freeman. And uh, listen, I wanted to come on and to really show you something real quick. I know that in the past, it's been a struggle for people to kind of share their screen and share their browser in certain situations and things. I want to show you something uh, that I think, you know, would be beneficial to you. Um, and, and matter of fact, let me try it out too uh, with PowerPoint. So the great thing about the new camera overlays, if, if you were anything like I was, let me uh, pull that up and I'm just going to set this up right quick. Play from start. Okay. All right. I'm just minimize that. All right. So if you was anything like me, uh, you had an issue. So like when I go to, um, and I'm, let me go to live demo mode right quick. So that way you guys can see this live and in action. Okay. And so um, here I have my actual the actual um, um, overlay and blank screen. So if I wanted to share, say for instance, like a, a browser window, now you have to kind of drag the browser window. You kind of have to, now, you know, they have this scroll feature so I can scroll this up, kind of eliminate some of this stuff. But then I have to kind of really play with it in order to get it to where I want it to sit at. And so I know pretty much now where I need it to sit in order to be viewed on my screen, right? And so then I do that. But as you can see, my whole screen is taken up. I don't necessarily need to see it. I can see it here or what have you. But if I've come back here, then that may not be even. Let's go to like um, uh, Facebook. And then you can kind of see it in a different manner. All right. So... Sometimes you, depending on your monitor, your screen, this will not line up correctly, right? Uh, and and then you want to have this this uh, area and all of this. So what I found is the new way that I do it is just simply I'll pull this over. Uh, this would be my browser over here. And you see in a regular layout, it won't do that. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll come here and now I'm going to start my NDI. And so NDI scanner, uh, the uh, scan converter is going to actually be able to scan for any network resources you have or any browsers. So if I come up here to file, I can show my entire desktop or I can show the server, Google Chrome, Ecamm Live based on what, what scenes or numbers I want to show, uh, my doc, everything I can show, right? And so I'm going to just select Google Chrome, okay? Now, when I click when I click here, now it's showing me Google Chrome. And the great thing about pulling this in as like if you see here, um, I had it as a as an overlay. So all I had to do was was just come here, go to my overlays, and then I'm going to lay this in as a camera overlay. Okay, and then as a camera overlay, I'm just going to select the edit button. I'm going to come here, boom! I'm going to choose scan converter. It's already selected. Uh, what I selected in the scan converter, which was the actual browser. So now I come here. Now I have this browser, okay? And now I can actually just position this any way that I want to position it, right? And so if I've already had this box drawn out at 16 by 9, then all I have to do is just drag this out for 16 by 9. In fact, I have a, a – let me put that – let me close this overlay and put this one on, all right? And so now I have the 16 by 9 already drawn out. And it's going to fit perfectly without having to worry about trying to get this browser to fix and uh, to fit and all that. And the way you put it under the, you just simply drag that under, right, under the overlay. And now it's under the overlay. So everything that I have here is under the overlay. So I can come in here um, and just begin to kind of, you know, stretch this, do whatever I need to do. If you don't have that, say, for instance, you have... Um, I I kind of had did a uh, I kind of did a a free draw on one. Let me uh, there we go. All right, and then let me put this back up. So I kind of did a free draw on this one, more of the four by three ratio. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to come in here to to because uh, even with classic, it's still not going to be right. See. It's still not right. But the great thing about the new camera overlays, even though it does come out pretty, pretty close, 
it does come out pretty close. And so you can see, yeah, I mean, that works for the four by three. But even if I did it, like, see, I just I just uh, moved it by mistake when I came over here with the scroll, with the extra scroll. But even if I did it, say I didn't. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to go, I'm going to click on the edit button and I'm going to go to custom. And so now I can actually move this thing around like I want to move it. Right. And so I let's come over here. Boom. Size it. Size it from either either angle. Right. From either angle you have it, you can size it. Size it down. Boom. Now we're cooking with gasoline. OK. We're cooking with, with, with gasoline now. And so now you're able to do things that you you didn't used to be able to do simply by just bringing in that camera and using NDI to bring in the actual camera. Um, the feed, which is the browser. Now this feed is going to change, right? So if I come here and I go back to my NDI and if I just go here to show desktop, it's going to show my actual desktop. If I go here and show windows server, I don't know what that is. Okay. That must be just, you know, my, my, which kind but even though Ecamm live, if I come here and I want to show one of the Ecamm live, um, okay. That's going to give me the infinity screen on that one. But I come in here and show the different Ecamm Live things. My dock. If you want to see my, my total dock, you know, I can come in here and kind of, you see the dock at the bottom there. I would have you. Um, claim my Mac. You know, you see the same thing. And so it's a great way to, again, share your screen, not having to worry about setting it up. Now, one thing I didn't see, let me see if I, um, uh, let's go to uh, PowerPoint. Now let me see if it's actually, if I go to NDI. Will it show up? Yep, there it is, PowerPoint. So now your PowerPoint presentations, all of that. And, and watch this. No matter where I move it at on the screen, NDI is going to automatically center it. It's going to automatically center it. It's going to automatically zoom it. And so that's the great thing about using NDI versus using the regular uh, screen share or what have you. Um, and again, you have to make a, a few adjustments or what have you. So, you know. You can make sure that you have everything so they can, you know, you can see everything. But it's so it's a much more affordable way or a better way, I would say, to kind of do that, to kind of have it. So you'll have it right where where you need it to be. I um, mean, yep. And so that's using the NDI scan converter to pull up anything into Ecamm and actually use it as your actual browser, whether it's a presentation, whether it's the actual browser itself, um, it doesn't matter. It'll pull it in and you just set it up. You just make sure you set it up. You see my plugin just crashed. You just make sure you set it up and you're good to go. You're good to go. So I come here in Google Chrome and now it's showing my Chrome. So no matter what I do here in Google Chrome, it's gonna show it, uh, which is a great thing. It's a great thing to have and uh, makes it a lot easier to include your browser information and things of that nature on your actual live streams. And so it's just much better. Uh, it's a much better way of uh, flow for me uh, with workspace and all of that. I can just set up <clears throat> the NDI source uh, before I broadcast and use that instead of having to tinker around with the actual browser, moving it around on my screen. Um, Cause literally, uh, let me go back in the demo mode. Literally, I would have to come in and pull it here. And so I already know, okay, my camera's here. And so I'm gonna I already know what the dimensions need to be based on where my camera's at. That's kind of how I've done it in the past. And sometimes you have to make some, some um, you know, some adjustments and things of that nature. But overall, just using the camera overlay is uh, so much easier. And guess what? Once you have it set, it's set. So once you have it set, now I can come in here and all I have to do is just change out the actual source based on NDI. No matter what the scene is, I can just change out the NDI source and it's gonna still show up here centered and ready to move forward or what have you uh, for your presentation or, or uh, anything that you're teaching or educating on. All right. So that's just a little tip I wanted to show. Uh, I wasn't sure if anybody uh, was really uh, checking that out as far as the camera overlays and the power of the camera overlays and being able to use those um, throughout our live streams, what have you. All right. I look forward to seeing what you guys are creating um, in your live streams and uh, look forward to networking even more. Let's grow. Let's build 2020, 20, 2021. Let's make it the best year ever. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.